Okay, we are back with some more X-Lock video. Um, the last video that I did absolutely blew up with comments on why don't you just use a pulley block? What, what in the heck good is this thing? You're just adding more mass to your line. Um, it's stuff that could come back and kill you through the windshield. All extremely valid points, but you also have to know if that's focused on that. That's got a 20,000 pound limit. So we've got to stay within our working load limits here of all of our gear. So I, I needed a bigger area to, to do this video. So I drove up here on Storm Mountain to an area that I knew had a great big long straightaway to an old gate that you can't go past anymore. I mean, it's just, there's no trail back there. Um, so I've got my 100 foot uh, ARE winch extension already laid out here that uh, I got from Olympus off-road long 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 time ago so we've got that laid out and we need to hook up the winch on the Jeep to this so we're going to imagine again that the Jeep is sitting on the frame in probably let's just call it snow because the Colorado snow uh, after you punch through that crusty ice layer, it's like falling into a mud hole. Um, it is so hard to get out of it. So we need to run our winch line out and let's see, am I in neutral here? I am. So let's back this out. And let's get, let's get this hooked together here. This should go, yeah, it will. Okay. I am actually going to be doing winching in this demo. So we're gonna make extra sure that things are set up correctly. I also got a lot of crap about this. This is an acceptable way to pull on a soft shackle. This actually yielded a slightly bit less strength, but this is, this is an acceptable way. So that comes right from our International Four-Wheel Drive Trainers Association certified trainer. So it looks like I'm too close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition the Jeep real quick. Okay, good enough for demonstrative purposes. So I'm down into the red, and remember I said you could come all the way out to the halfway point on the drum. I'm just, I'm not gonna do that because this is going to be sufficient. So. I've got 50 feet of line on here, and my only tree, the only tree that I could winch to is way down there. So I don't have any other options. I'm stuck here. None of these trees exist. This Jeep weighs 5,000 pounds, sitting on the frame. It's about a 10,000 pound pull on the flat. That's what we're gonna go with for our calculations. I have a 10,000 pound winch. We are not talking about the pulley block today at all okay so the pulley block is staying out of this equation so what i need to do my line is my little cover slack in here um i need to pull myself all the way let's say i'm uh, this is a big snow field this is a big snow drift i need to pull myself all that way and remember every every time the line comes in on the winch we lose about 10 percent of our winch capacity so Cue up this guy. I'm gonna grab a bow pin shackle here. Man, I put that one on there tight. There we go. I do that on purpose so people can't steal them. <laughs> yes, people steal them. Um, so, okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna fire the Jeep up. I'm gonna set the brake on a low drag, and I'm gonna stand outside while we winch this. So let me uh, let me get this fired up. And uh, we're going to pull ourselves in, and then I'll, I'll, I'll actually show you why the X-Lock is beneficial over just putting a pulley block on. Yes, you could do that. We're not going to do that today. So let me get the Jeep started. We're going to set that there. And now, just for demonstrative purposes, I don't recommend doing this on a, you know, any other time. Let's make sure this starts laying down correctly. There we go, now we're loaded up. So our line's coming off the ground and let's pull the Jeep forward. Am 
going to give myself one more click on the brake. There we go. So let's pull the Jeep forward now. Actually, I'm going to roll the window down so I can steer. And just so you can see, I'm not dragging my brake or dragging my tires back here. They're actually rolling. So we're going to just pull this in the entire distance. And remember, every single wrap on the drum, I'm losing winch capacity. Let's make sure it's spooling up correctly since this is a demo. Oh, it's spooling up perfect. I needed to repack this line anyway. Okay, so now for the purposes of, of demo, let me get this back in park. We'll shut it off. So I have pulled in half of my available line and now my winch is down to a 5,000 pound capacity, which is not nearly enough to move this Jeep because remember, I'm stuck in snow up to the frame. So what do we do? We pop this, let's get some tension off of here. We're gonna put this back in neutral and we're gonna go rig up the X-lock. So we're gonna pull all this out. Cause I need to get back down to that last wrap. Oop, I'm binding up in there. I need to fix that. I hate those little covers on these winch lines. Okay, there's my piece of tape. You see it? Right there. Let's put this baby back in gear. So now I got all this slack here. Let's go rig this up. Let me get that pulled back too. So we're gonna come down all the way down here. Oh, one other thing that I got chastised about. They said that this rope, the minimum bend radius was not a three quarter inch bow pin shackle. It actually is. It's one and a half times the diameter of the rope is the recommended minimum bend radius. So, if you remember what I did last time, let me get this line off that tree. X-lock goes further down the line, but we're going to go, yeah, I'm gonna put it on the pin side again, whoops. Let me make sure you can see that. Yep, you can. So. I'm putting that on the pin side. This is a 5 16 winch rope. So that is actually within the acceptable range of minimum bend radius. So that is good. Now let's come back here. Remember I pulled out 50 feet of line from the drum and I've got about, yeah, I mean, it wasn't quite 50. I've got probably 20 here um well actually it's probably 30 by the time you go down and back so we need to get this guy set back up so we're going to come around and then we're going to come let's see i'm probably too far back again like i was last time up and around okay i'm gonna work that slack back so remember one line going back three lines going forward there was also some confusion these are static. Somebody was saying how I was gonna unscrew my pin because that line was moving. Well, that's not true. That cannot move up there on that bow pin shackle. So D-ring, whatever you wanna call it. It can't move. This won't allow it to move. It's physically impossible. So now we can come all the way back up to the Jeep we still have a one-to-one -one pull here. We can fire this thing back up. Or 
we'll pop her back into neutral and we still got the brake on. So now we're back down to a 10,000 pound rated winch because we took all the slack out of our extension and now we can keep pulling the Jeep. Hear how much that works? I don't want to get in front of it, but I want to get off to the side so you can see it. We're still on the last wrap of the drum until we get all the way in on the red. All right, I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna leave this line loaded. We're gonna walk down here and look at this. So now I've cleared myself of the snow drift and I'm on suitable ground to actually drive under my own power again because I shortened my 100 foot winch extension by about a third and took all the slack out of it. So let's take a look at this because remember this is not moving. The, whoops, you can't see that. This is not moving. This line is not moving at all. Just the Jeep coming towards it. So now, here we go. There's our X lock in action, okay? There's a couple thousand pounds of tension on that, but I mean, I can still move it. So we've got our three static lines going to the right and our one pole line going to the left, all the way back to the Jeep. And, whoops, I'm bending that tree a little bit. And this did not move at all. So I hope that helps explain how this works. You know, one, two, three lines right here that we took, you know, we took a whole bunch of slack out of this instead of getting out a pulley block because the pulley wasn't needed. When, when you calc the load, it's like, I don't need it. I, I just assume get that out and shorten my extension to my one available anchor point, then try and do something with a two to one up here back to maybe I have another tree right there. So this, this is why the X lock comes in handy. Um, it's a great tool to have. Um, no, this is not like a sponsored video or anything. I paid for that. I actually bought two and I sold one to a friend because he wanted it. So hopefully that helps explain how all this works and took some of the confusion out of that other video because that was more of a show and tell of all of my gear. Let me not talk to you or talk at you. Let me talk to you. So hopefully that helps explain, you know, what's going on here um, with, with all of this because, I mean, there was like hundreds and hundreds of questions. So anyway, um, that's it. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget, um, I'm at uh, 19,200 as of this morning on uh, subscribers. So 800 more and uh, somebody's winning a GoPro Hero 8 memory card, spare battery, memory card reader, um, no strings attached. So that's all I got for you. I just wanted to make that because this is the first available day that I've had and there's a bunch of questions. So um, if you got any more, Post them below.